Oh, they've been blowing that whistle this year. Flag on the play. Pass interference. It's coming back. Holding. 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 Tampon Timmy. Stolen Valor. You ain't shoot the gun, sir. Flag on the play. One of, hey, one, one of my beautiful patriots at? One of my brothers and sisters. Y'all hit one of my sirens. Somebody please. Engineer, can we get my sirens on here? I need my sirens. We're bringing the sirens back. It's October 1st. Prayers for October. Prayers for Trump. His protection, his family, his team, his campaign. Prayers for Trump, man. Somebody, please, where's my engineer? Please play my sirens. I need my sirens, y'all. Can y'all please turn my sirens on? We bringing the sirens back. Because it's coming. And it's coming fast. It's coming. Appreciate y'all engineers. I appreciate my, my editing team. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to the editing team. Shout out to the editing team. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Good people, man. But hey, man, I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life, man. <sighs> They've been blowing that whistle this year, man. I tell you, that whistle has been blown, you know? But I couldn't wait to get into this. A lot, a lot of y'all probably already know what's going on. You know, um, some of y'all don't. And that's why you're here as well. But um, October is, is off to a start. Right now, trending around the world is, uh, you know, the hurricanes, um, East Coast and um, the port strike. Prayers, man. I want to send my love and prayers and also my condolences. Um, we've, we've, you know, people have lost loved ones. Um, they have no communication. It is, it is, it is nasty out there right now, man. I want to send my love and prayers, man. All jokes aside, you know, I want to just take my time out and just send my love and prayers to the ones out there. My love and prayers to you guys and your family, man. Through these crazy dark times that we are living in, we are living in the biggest history yet. Uh, we have a big, big moment coming up in, the, in, in, in 30 some days with this election. And uh, we don't know what to expect next, man. You know, um, President Trump just had, you know, the second assassination attempt on his life this past month. You know, September has been what a crazy month as well. So we prayers for October, man. But. Uh, boy, Tim Walls, are y'all ready for that debate tonight? Are y'all ready for that debate? Tampon Timmy and J.D. Vance. Ah. And again, Kamila goes on another uh, interview podcast and can't answer a question. You know, talks about the same story of her growing up in the middle class. Same stuff, man. But hey, zero votes. Zero votes. You know, most unpopular. Worst approval rating. We've allowed the media to build a candidate and play in our face once again. It's an absolute disgrace, man. And just look at America, a laughing stock, a failing nation right now. Millions struggling and dying as we speak, dropping like flies. People just won't change, man. Simple. Simple. Things have to change. But um, we got a huge breaking news bombshell. Huge shout out to my brother Benny. Tons of you guys sent me sent this to me to check out. Um, and again, we are also learning on the fly as well on some of these things that hit the fan. But uh, you just can't make it up, man. You just can't make it up. This is this is crazy, man. What is taking place? But we're gonna be sure to make bring you guys updates and the best coverage. Around what's going on, man. And again, we are in this corrupt scam matrix together. Yes, indeed. Let's jump in, y'all. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Just one second. Just one second. Oh boy. That, that Benny is something else, man. <laughs> yeah. Please don't get our <laughs> Please don't get our video taken down. All right, we are good, y'all. We are good. We are good. Okay, let's jump. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, boy Benny, the year 2024 and there are no more rules. The operator's manual has been thrown out the window. You don't know what the hell to expect day after day. Another assassination attempt, another indictment, Joe Biden dropping out. You can only count on one thing as a consistent bedrock, actually, for the news cycle, and that is that Democrats will choose a Marxist to be their nominee as president, to be their entire ticket, in fact. We're learning some very interesting things about Tim Walz, who is serving in the most m Marxist possible ticket imaginable. A lady who didn't win a single vote, didn't uh, win a single primary, one. hasn't done a single not interview, one. was just selected by the elites to be in charge. Who'd she pick as her... Vice President, most people thought it was going to be the guy from Pennsylvania, a guy named Josh Shapiro. Made a lot more sense. But instead, Kamala goes with this dude, this really weird, gesticulating, uh, limp-wristed, uh, very soy individual named Tim Walls, who is just really creepy and has a lot of problems. And here's one of them. A whistleblower with the government who blew the whistle to government oversight about U.S. intelligence uncovering verified links between the Communist Chinese Party and vice presidential candidate Tim Walls. Well, this is interesting. Is Kamala Harris picking Tim Walls because he's a Chinese communist asset and they're going to assist in her victory? Is this where all the dark money is coming from, the flowing into Kamala Harris? Uh, you know this happened with the Bidens. You, there's a paper trail of this happening with the Bidens. Is It's happening all over again. Is it much, much worse? During the 118th Congress, this is a letter to Alejandro Mayorkas in charge of the Department of Homeland Security. During the 118th Congress, the Committee on Oversight and Accountability has conducted a government-wide investigation on how federal agencies are addressing infiltration and influence by the Communist Chinese Party. This infiltration and influence tactic is a facet of a larger Cold War that the CCP utilizes unrestricted warfare against America. CCP considered its main enemy during its briefings with over 20 federal agencies in an investigation, the committee has learned of the emphasis on the CCP has placed on influencing subnational government leaders, including governors. Along those lines, the committee has recently received whistleblower disclosure informing the committee of serious concern among Department of Homeland Security personnel regarding the longstanding connection between the CCP and Minnesota Governor Tim Walls. Specifically, through whistleblower disclosures, the committee has learned of a non-classified Microsoft Teams group chat among DHS employees entitled uh, NFT Biweekly Sync that contains... Group, uh, information about Governor Walls that is re relevant to the committee's investigation. The committee has also learned further relevant information regarding Governor Walls has been memorialized in both classified and unclassified documents in the control of DHS. The attached subpoena requires DHS to produce these documents and communication regarding Governor Walls' connections to the CCP. The subpoena is issued pursuant to this rule and this rule of the House of Representatives Committee rules. The committee investigation of the CCP begun long before Governor Walls was elevated to the vice presidential candidate and Democrat presidential candidate for Kamala Harris. Seeks to understand the extent of the CCP's infiltration and influence campaign, ident uh, identify legislative reforms to combat uh, communist political warfare targeting prominent Americans and elite capture. The, in particular, the state governor of a major political party's nominee for vice president of the United States has been wittingly or unwittingly participating in the communist Chinese party's efforts to weaken our nation, would strongly suggest that there's an alarming weakness in the federal government's effort to defend America against CCP political warfare and influence. It needs to be urgently addressed. Along those lines, the committee is currently considering legislative solutions uh, to ameliorate deficiencies. It it already has identified among government agencies uh, strategies and to combat CCP political warfare. The information required by DHS by the committee subpoena will inform the committee's understanding of how successful the CCP has been at waging political warfare uh, in the United States. Wow. So he's saying that he's, he's a commie.
Comer. He's working with the Communist Chinese Party. Boy. This is signed Chairman James Comer. This is very interesting. Nobody visits China 30 times. Tim Walls honeymooned in China. Bernie Sanders honeymooned in the Soviet Union. So isn't this interesting how this works? Tim Walls honeymooned in China. He he like he went to China 30 different times. Why would you go to China 30 times? Dude, you're an asset. I don't, I don't think it's unwittingly. You're an asset. James Comer, of course, the guy who uncovered all of these connections to the Biden family. Jesse Kelly saying nobody goes to China 30 times. Nobody I've ever I've never been anywhere 30 times in my life, let alone a foreign nation. Imagine the dirt that China has on Tim Walls. That's right. Were they offering him like free trips to China in order to hoover up all the data on his phone in order to plant a seed in order to make him an asset? Is this why Tim Walls is somebody who locked his state down, created commie snitch lines in Minnesota uh, and, and created every conceivable like socialist and Marxist regulation? in the destruction of that state boy is this why tim walls is openly advocating and cheering on mm. the destruction of his state minnesota is like a totally good and peaceful state now it's a hellscape everyone's trying to flee minnesota the population is collapsing this is why tim walls is so scared for the debate with jd vance tim walls fighting nerves ahead of debating vance sources say cnn panel says that uh Tim Walls is having a hard time keeping up with his nerves under control <clears throat> that made with J.D. Vance. And we are currently, what is it, eight hours, you know, y'all know I dropped out of school. Uh, looks like nine hours away of me recording this video, nine hours away from the debate. Aides say Walls has expressed a lack of confidence in his ability to go up against a very well-trained lawyer type of Vance. Walls is also feeling pressure. Bad performance will disappoint Kamala Harris, who has already privately expressed frustration with Walls' awkwardness and blunders on the campaign trail, such as referring to her as a prostitute. Glenn Walls, as Tim Walls' wife, is angry that her husband is being put through the humiliation. They could just have an, inf an inflatable, arm-wavy, two-man guy go out and debate. I mean, talking to people like they're kids, talking to voters, talking to them like they're kids. They, they, they talk to them like they're children. Y'all repeat after me. We're going to repeat after me. And we're going to flip the page. We're going to flip the page. Uh-uh, Mr. Vance, Mr. Trump. Uh-uh. Y'all seen those clips, man? I would be pissed. Dis I would feel disrespected. You know, I would walk out the rally. And now I, I see why people get up and, and get up and leave. And why they're packing their bags. And leaving the Democrat Party. They see what's going on with this crap, man. How corrupt it is. I want my tax dollars back. I want every last dime back. For Tim Walls. Comer subpoenas DHS record relating to Walls' alleged ties to Communist Party. See, this, this, this <laughs> is how it's done, boys. This is the headline that you need. Whistleblower notified Comer of non-classified DHS group chat with intelligence on Tim Walls being a dirty communist. You know, he does look like Mao Zedong, doesn't he? He has the same haircut and everything. This is, of course, a uh, very bad timing. Because the debate is just a few hours from now. You know, it's, tom it's tomorrow night. Donald Trump has been opening up big leads in election models. Now the election is almost, almost in Trump's column and leaning Trump. Real clear politics now has Trump winning again and winning Pennsylvania. There is no path for Kamala Harris if, if she doesn't win Pennsylvania. And some of uh, the larger and more important members of Congress who are also running for Senate here in the swing state of Michigan are saying that Kamala Harris is totally underwater in the internal pollings, not the fake polls that are, of course, all paid for by Barack Obama and the Democrat elite. Uh, these are the real polls done of real Michiganders. Uh, here's the Senate candidate for Michigan.
This is a, I, I, I'm not feeling my best right now about where we are on Kamala Harris in a place like Michigan right now. We have her underwater in our polling. Uh, okay, that's not good. When Donald Trump goes to Michigan, it looks like this. Freaking majestic. <sighs> Donald Trump goes to Michigan. I mean, look at that. Look at the size of these audiences. Look at that. Yeah, we know what happened at 3 o'clock in the morning. Dude. We know what happened at Donald 3 o'clock in, in the morning. Last week. One thing is clear. Americans want Trump back in office. 81 right. million votes. Rasmussen still has President Trump clinging very stubbornly on to his two and three point advantages. Has Trump winning in North Carolina? <laughs> And virtually tied in Virginia? Dude, this is crazy. New polling out today has Donald Trump winning uh, effectively every single swing state, including Pennsylvania. CNN saying Kamala Harris is the worst Democratic performance in a generation with union voters, which are, of course, all important inside of states like Michigan. Right? Auto manufacturing, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. Tim Walls got booed when he went to the Michigan game in total humiliation. <laughs> Tim Walls got uh, told to go F himself when he went inside the stadium. Baby! Some say that he uh, flipped off flipped off the fan. They yelled Trump 2024. I'll let, I mean, I'll let you decide. Uh, but, you know, bold, bold strategy especially if you are a uh, Marxist, especially, especially if you're a uh, dirty communist from the CCP. Insane. Or just like a total weirdo, right? Like Tim Walls will lose because he's just a weird dude. Here's a video that they voluntarily take. 60 years to come here. Yeah. I'm talking about religious experience. Yeah. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> Who laughs like that? The freaking Joker. Who, who move like? If somebody says, "What's up, dude?" Do you ever go like this? Right here, What's up, man? One coach to another, man. <laughs> what he was actually comfortable is when he was squatting, kneeling, lower than all the cheerleaders. Benny is something else, man. What a creepy weirdo. I can't wait for JD Vance to kick this Marxist ass. Do it for all. Yeah, man, I'm ready. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for that debate in a couple hours, man. But like them beautiful pictures around the world say, you just can't make this up. I love y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love, family.